Hello everybody, I'm Nightcat. Today we are playing Crusader Kings 2. The Old Gods playing as Kingdom of Ostlandet, Proto-Norway, trying to form the Kingdom of Norway. Uh, just finishing up our trip over here to the Bank of Ireland. Getting some cash. Raiding a few... Looters have completely destroyed the Temple of Raffo and Tyr Canal. Oh man. So we actually... Completely eliminated that location. Wow. I didn't even know we could do that. Um, <clears throat> the people of Upland have progressed. Okay, so we got some more tech points. Excellent. Um, the, our mother is our spy master, apparently. Uh, interesting. I didn't know that was our mother. But we just got some more tech points. Can we actually increase anything? We could. Uh, siege equipment, maybe. That'll give us some better better uh, ability at sieges. We'll put that in there. Um, I would like to be able to increase legalism, although what's majesty get us? Prestige and piety gains. Uh, we could increase opinions of our nobles with these advances. Religious nobles, uh, city nobles. And feudal nobles. Uh, tolerance, if we own additional cultures or religion. We reduce the opinion penalty. Uh, that would be useful, however... Currently, we're not going to be really owning any... non-Norse people for a while. Unless we do decide to conquer Ireland, which is a possibility. <clears throat> um, let's put it into... I guess we'll put it into talk. Although, yeah, you know what? Let's just wait. We'll wait for legalism. Um, so back down here, back to the, back to our business here. May as well finish conquering, I guess, or taking raiding this place. Okay, so that's been looted. All of these places have been successfully looted, except down here. There's still a couple that haven't been, but uh, we have 350 gold with Ulster. How are they? What about Oriel? Uh, not bad. This place is still looted. I guess we could try looting one of those places, but nah. You know what? We'll, we'll load everybody back onto the boat. Um, maybe take one more stop over in England on the way home. How's Wessex? What about Dorset? Uh, Sussex? Kent? Kent, uh, Kent has the most money potential. Uh, what about Middlesex? Not really. Essex? Uh, we'll make a brief stop. Or what about in France? Rouen? Ooh. <laughs> Bologna. Looks like these guys have already been raided. Probably by the Danes, maybe? Or the Swedes? Uh, looks like they already went to France. <clears throat> you know what? We could... Let's take a really trip, quick, uh, trip over to Rome. Why not? What else are we doing? Uh, let's make a quick trip to Rome. Let's raid the papacy. And hopefully nobody's going to try to kill us. We'll just keep an eye out for any armies that approach. Let's sack Rome. Oh, a fleet full of loot has returned from raiding for Rold of Telemark. He got 1,100 gold. So that must have been who raided France. Uh, one of our vassals. So good on him. Um, I don't know where he got the troops to do that, since we have most of them, unless he was holding back on us, which is possible. Important decision. Oh, we could hold another great blot. Perhaps uh, we'll do that, especially if we capture a pope. That would be amazing. Uh, we did not capture a pope. But we got some money. 418 is how much money we have now. We may as well... There's a lot of places here for us to loot. We may as well loot them all if we can. Sacked Rome. Sacked Viterbo. Oh, and one of our children. 
needs to be educated our second son. Uh, so the first one, we are training ourselves. We may as well take the second at two. <clears throat> uh, and then sack. What are we, where are we attacking now? Tivoli. What's that? Uh, another castle. I caught my young ward Dyer torturing a rat behind the stables today. This is our son. Uh, we can get him the cruel trait, which is plus one to intrigue, minus one to diplomacy. Um, or he might get kindness. I would rather him be cruel. Yeah. We'll let him keep cruel. <coughs> Our second son, Half Dan, is always counting money and makes sure he gets the most out of it. He haggled with a merchant over some sweetmeats until the merchant laughed with frustration and handed over the sweetmeats for a lot less than he had asked for. Uh, he could become ch greedy or charitable and he'll gain one stewardship. Um, that's fine. Or he could gain zealous. Money is fit for God. Um, greedy. Get some more money, uh, or possibly diplomacy, or he could become zealous or charitable. We'll go with this option. Maybe he'll become zealous. He will become zealous. Okay, so that's good for battle. Unfortunately, that's the second son, not our primary son, who does not have the zealous trait. I would like him to get that. Uh, and he's almost finished his training. He's not going to end up with very great stats. I would almost prefer... Oh. Uh, Rogervald... No longer our Chancellor. So our Chancellor died, and he was training one of our children. Uh, we'll make this guy the new Chancellor. And he wants to become Chancellor, so that'll fulfill his uh, wish. He'll get an 18 in Diplomacy now. Um, let's... Um, oh, I guess he wasn't training any of our children, so our children are fine. All right. <clears throat> Actually, was he training one of our child prisoners? Uh, she's being trained by our wife. He's being trained by our concubine. And she needs somebody to educate her. Let's give her to... Um... So if he's our marshal, who's our, our steward? Oh, this guy should be our steward. This guy's got way better stewardship uh, abilities compared to our cousin, who kind of sucks now. So we'll replace our cousin with this guy, and will you educate um, our prisoner? Intrigue, so she's the one who needs to be educated. Who dislikes us the most? <clears throat> Our concubine isn't a fan of us. The other concubine also is not a big fan of us. What's the difference? Why does this one like us and the other one doesn't? We're both zealous. Uh, and she's cynical, that's why. Okay. Um... You can train the other kid, I guess. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we'll continue sacking the papacy. Get some more monies. We're going to come back with a lot of money from this. Which is great. Uh, successful siege your men drag... Rodolfo out of his hiding hole. Rodolfo is the Pope's son. Apparently, his only son. Uh, off to the dungeons with him. Actually, can we ransom him back? Can we get some more money out of this Pope? Ransom prisoner. Yes, for 74 gold. Done. You can have your kid back. Uh, we're not going to stop kind of attacking your place here. To the wretched King Heralder, 
Uh, may your human... Okay, I accept paying your ransom for the safe return of Rodolfo. <clears throat> okay, so we ransomed the Pope's son back to him, and now we have another son, our third son. Educate him. Let's educate him, I guess, in stewardship. Um... Yeah, we'll give him to him. All right. <clears throat> Siege of Anagni. What's Anagni? Oh, a bishopric. Okay. Very good. And this is going to be a quick siege of Sutri, which is, I guess, kind of a pretty low-ranking castle. Uh, how much are we going to get from that, I wonder? We're up to 550 almost, 550 gold from this raiding trip. Um, we'll, we'll finish off this place and we'll see how much uh, effort this other place is going to take and then maybe we'll head home. Dyer asks, how best can I serve the, the Norse faith? 80% he gains the brave trait. Excellent. Uh, gains the brave trait. Good, good, good. He's turning out not too bad, although his stats are kind of low still. Maybe he'll get some better when he actually ages up. Uh, so everything here has been successfully besieged and looted. Why can't we loot this one? County of Orvieto. Alright, well, whatever. <clears throat> Everybody back in the boat. Let's head home. With our monster haul of loot. People of Upland. Okay, so we got some more tech points. Uh, does that give us enough to do legalism again? Nope. And... Our son is now a brilliant strategist. He has 16 in martial ability. Let's wait for him to get a... Um... um <clears throat> a... Uh, what do you call it? An ambition. Okay, fleet full of loot. 553 gold, 553 prestige. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, Display, disband our fleet, disband our raiders. We got a bunch of gold, now we can actually probably become king of Norway. So, our heir is unmarried. We should probably find him a wife. Uh, Sweden looks like it's managed to conquer all of its territory. Still Svithjord, let's create the kingdom of Norway, though. So, to do that, we need to create one more duchy. Um, create this one. 200 gold and 100 prestige, okay. And then this should allow us to create the Kingdom of Norway. We can. Done. Okay, we are now the King of Norway. Wonderful. Um, now let's take a look at our son. Does he have a, an ambition yet? No. But we have a fulfilled ours, so we can choose a new one. <clears throat> right? No valid ambitions. Well, I guess it'll wait for a sec. Uh, our heir is still unmarried. Important decisions. We can hold the great blot. We actually have a reason to celebrate now. Oh. And one of our... Vassals died in an accident. At age 24, his daughter is now... Now the leader. She's only two years old. Could I take it from her? <clears throat> uh, revoke title. People would be pissed. Never mind. Okay. Can we declare war on Sweden? On Svithjord. Declare war... Subjugation of Svithyod, we could. We could, we could, we could, we could. Hmm. I... would like to do that. What are our, what are our troops look like? We would be able to raise 2,100 troops. We got a lot of money, though. We could hire some good mercenaries. Uh, those guys are kind of expensive for what we get. These guys only cost 1300 a month once we get them, though. So maybe we'll hire those ones. Let's do it. Let's subjugate Svithjod. He's also engaged in a war right now. 
Leading troops in Duina. Where's Duina? He's way over here fighting in Russia for some reason. All right. We're going to conquer Sweden. Or Svitjod. Declare war. Subjugation of Svitjod. Send. Thank you for um, putting all of that place together for us, buddy. So we're going to hire... Um, <clears throat> we could get... For almost the same price, we could get 2,400 or 4,650 troops for almost the same price as the 30, 3750. Uh, maybe we'll do that. We'll hire both of these mercenary groups. That gives us a 5,000 strong army right there. We'll combine all of these troops into one. And the rest, um, they can go there. But these guys are all going to be one army. Once they all get together. And then when we finish this, we'll hold the Great Blot. Assuming we get some more prisoners, I guess. <clears throat> so this is going to be great. We're going to easily be able to conquer these territories. Gain 100 prestige for my performance on the battlefield. Wonderful. Um, so this he's got 900 troops there. So we should probably go chase down that army before it actually causes us problems. Uh, we'll pretend to go there, but we're actually going to come down here and crush him handily. Done. He's retreating up here. We'll follow him <clears throat> with our mercenaries. Done. Uh, these guys we will combine into a single army. My prisoner is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon. He is 14 years old, currently being educated by my concubine. We will let him rot. He can stay in the dungeon. He's almost a grown man, at which point, I don't know what we'll do with him. Sacrifice him at the Great Blot, I guess. But it shouldn't take us long to conquer these counties, especially with this enormous army that we have. We might actually split this into two. I'd like to keep it together just in case. The king comes back. The cook complained to me about half dance temper tantrums. Apparently he punched her son in the face again. Uh, the kid shows spirit. Gains wrath, which is martial. Minus the entry diplomacy. I would like him to have martial. Okay, successful siege. Your mag drag... Your, your men drag Regalin Capet out of her hiding hole. A French concubine. Of the house of Capet, her father was Duke Robert the Strong. Um... Off to the dungeons with her. We're going to keep her and actually possibly make her our concubine now. But first we'll finish this up. <clears throat> uh, somebody attempts to plot to take the Jarldom of Vestlandet. Who does? Eriker of Hordeland. And where is Hordeland? That is Hordeland right there. Okay. Can we... You know what, we'll leave him alone, let him try to plot while we're over here, and then we'll bring our army back and, if necessary, subdue and imprison him. And maybe take his land from him if we can. But let's just complete this, this siege. Anyway, I'm, I'm trying- oh, yeah, there's a large army. Okay. 1600 men. This is what I've been waiting for. There we go. Easily crushed them. There's another 300 coming down, another 400 coming over from that way. Uh, oh, another 1,200 men. We want to... Oh, where do you go? Right there. <clears throat> okay, let's try to kill all of them. Nice. Largely succeeded. Uh, we're going to let these two armies regroup down here if we can, and then we will advance on them. Prince Bodil of Norway is now legal age... Or princess... Okay, so our, our daughter is now of legal age. Um, she ended up with good martial abilities for no real reason. January 25th of December, he's going to get out of there. We're going to arrive on the 24th. We'll be able to crush both of those groups of troops. Oh, and these guys have finished that siege, so we'll move them down there. Done. Move these guys up here. People of Upland, okay, so we get more tech from Upland. 
Uh, Blessing might have discovered a plot for Roald of Telemark seeks to fabricate a claim in the Yarlam of Vestlandet. Okay. It's two people trying to steal my title. Maybe I can take both of their territories. That would be nice. Uh, we're quickly crushing all of Sweden's troops. So that siege is complete. Move our troops down here. Maimed in battle. Oh no. That's not good. Um, hopefully that might heal. Oh, here comes 2,000 troops. 2,600. Let's regroup both of our armies here. Combine them. Go after them. He's going to get down there on May 1st. We're going to arrive on May 6th. Um, no, now he's going to go over here. Uh, Sundermanland. Oh no, he's still coming down here. Okay. So he's going to arrive... There we go. So where did those troops go? I don't know what happened to his troops. Oh, they're over here now. What happened there? Troops of Prince Eriker of Svitjom. Well, we're going to have to go over this way and try to kill him. Chase him down. Come on. There we go. We'll arrive there. Pitched battle, but we have three times the men, and at this period of time, numbers generally matter. Victory, Grupa, and Coping. Who's he? Nobody in particular. Perfect. <clears throat> uh, we'll chase these troops down here. <clears throat> The irregularity of pay, the company must each serve. Okay, so we're losing our um, mercenaries. We should actually probably... Do we have any left? Uh, the Russians. We should disband them because we can't pay them and they might rebel against us, which puts us in a tough position now. Uh, better understanding of war, okay. Will this guy surrender? No. We need still to raise... Because down here it says our war score. Uh, so we have an 81%. We need probably 100 to force him to capitulate. Um, and that's going to be a little bit rough now that we no longer have our mercenaries. Uh, 84. Maybe we can get more just from crushing all of his troops. Every battle we win raises it a bit. 85. Uh, this guy's heading back down here. Reject diplomatically. That guy wanted our title. <clears throat> 86. This guy's gonna get there on March 9th. We're gonna arrive before then so we can kill them too. Uh, oh, we can increase our tech. One of them. Castle infrastructure, town, improved keeps trade practices, construction. Um, castle infrastructure, I guess we'll put that into again. And then, can we put anything over here into anything we want? No. Still have to wait on that one and on the other one. <clears throat> 86 still. Let's head down here. Maybe we can get arrive and kill those troops before they group with anybody. Sweden is annoying. Up to 88 now. Uh, so many people we have to crush. And they're just... It's war of attrition here, basically. Okay, and who did we capture now? Hrodgar. Lowborn, nobody important, but fine, we got him. Assuming we get out of this with a win, we're gonna have a great time at the blot. We're getting quite a few prisoners here that we can sacrifice. Uh, up to 92. Is he willing to surrender now? No. How many more men do we have to kill? Still 92. 
Let's try to win a siege, assuming we don't get regrouped with like 300 men again here. Blow was struck, excellent. Can we raise more men? Uh, yeah, there's about 400 guys. Let's, uh, raise some ships for him to come on. Oh no, our son died! Died of an illness. That was our good son. Oh man, so now... Um... Now it goes to this guy. Who's not bad, we're also tutoring him. But this guy's the heir to Auslandit. I don't want him to be the heir to Auslandit because Auslandit is where our capital is. Maybe things will shake up when we conquer Svitjald. Or whatever this is. Svitjald. Um, Rogalin Capet. We're going to take her as a concubine. Uh, so I will be merciful. We now have a French member of the Capet family as our concubine. Why do people die? Our child asks, because they are too carefree. Everybody dies sooner or later. This is all part of God's plan. Everybody dies sooner or later. Please get brave. Brave. Okay. So, Because th this guy's now our main heir. We need him to be kind of pretty good. Some good Viking... Um, some good Viking uh, qualities. <clears throat> okay. So we got 400 additional reserves that we can bring over here and add to this army. There we go. Brings us back up to 1,500. <clears throat> Uh, still at 92. Uh, war score. I'm thinking maybe this siege should win us the, the, the war. If not, we'll have to go up and kill those 472 men. The rest of my sons are nowhere near the abilities of Dyer. He knew how to handle a sword and could have been a great courtier after my death. I have other sons. Maybe one of them will be worthy. Prince Thudmund. Who's Prince Thudmund? Oh, one of two options will happen. Prince Thudmund of Norway gains the trait Craven or Brave. Who's Thudmund? Our youngest son. Did he? He's Craven. We need to eliminate him somehow. And I'm not sure what we need to do for that. <clears throat> I don't want to assassinate him. Uh, famous writer proposes to compose your family's chronicles. Absolutely. Blow was struck. Uh, Prince Thordis of Norway, our daughter, is now of legal age. This siege should be over momentarily, up to 94 only. Alright, well I guess we'll have to kill these guys, or try to. Please succeed. Don't take too much damage. Another victory, up to 96. Will you uh, surrender now? No. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Somehow he got... Army of Denmark. Denmark is now at war with us? Uh, apparently not. Army of Mayor Bortelfer. He brought in... The King of Denmark. Where's Denmark? Is that even a kingdom? It is. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. They have way more troops than we do. <clears throat> hmm. And we don't have the money to hire mercenaries now. I think we're going to have to sue for peace. White peace. Offer peace. White peace. He'll accept that. End the war. Okay, that's unfortunate, but we got some prisoners, let's hold a great blot. And once we get the troops again, you know what? You got sons? You got unmarried sons? You do. Uh, arrange marriage. You want one of my daughters? How about this one? Let's create an alliance, and maybe he will not attack me next time, and I can conquer Spithyard in peace. Okay. 
Uh, so we're going to end the episode here. Next episode, we will hold the Great Blot, execute some prisoners, and that will be the end of it for, um, for those guys, I guess. And then we will continue with our designs on Svithyard. Hopefully he won't form the Kingdom of Norway by then. Maybe we'll go to the Bank of Ireland again. All right. So once again, I am Nightcat. We've been playing Crusader Kings 2. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.